y'all turn up. Hi, you guys. So I just wanted to come and touch on Real Housewives of Atlanta from Sunday. The first thing that I want to touch on, I guess I'll start. Well, I think that is how the show started. I can't remember, but Sheree was at the podcast of her daughter's podcast. And the podcast is centered around relationships, right? And as I was watching the show, I was thinking that it reminded me of... um, Candy Cody Nights, and then Candy said the same thing over on her speak on it, um, and she started reading from one of the blogs I believe about Tyrone and Tyrone saying why he couldn't do the show. Now maybe in real time that's what I was saying because remember I, well I don't know if you guys follow my videos or not but in one of the other videos about Real Housewives of Atlanta I was stating that. It was somewhere on a blog or I was reading something where he was saying um, that he couldn't do the show because of the time or he didn't want certain things documented. I don't know. Um, so I know I was seeing that somewhere and I guess that's what she was reading. And we all know the show is filmed ahead of time. It, so um, in real time, I was reading it and then she was reading it on the show. And like Sheree was saying, which I didn't think about, he either took that information to the blogs or maybe the blogs reached out to him and he decided to talk to them. But yeah, I guess it, yeah, she's right. It would come from him when he was, what they were saying. Um, I didn't think they were making it up. Um, So yeah, let me know what you guys think about the Tyrone factor the fact that we are going to see him at least for one episode. Um, The other thing that was going on was Drew. She met up with her mother and her mother put her on the phone with a prophet. Um, Now, over on the after show, Drew is stating that she's doing a lot of name dropping. That's what what I'm noticing. She says um, Reverend Wright, who was the reverend minister for uh, the Obamas in Chicago um, ordained her as a deacon. So yeah, she does a lot of name dropping. Um, but anyway, she, the prophet was telling her that there's a spirit on her or something and um, she thinks it's a, a lady. Oh, a female. So I'm assuming it's Fatoum. I'm, you know, I guess we can only assume it's Fatoum. Um, since she and Fatum are getting into it and, um, just leading into that conversation. I think the other thing, the only other thing that was going on before we get to, to Sheree's party was Marlo and these, the boys, right? How she was saying she sent the boys over to her sisters. A lot of people on Twitter, um, they didn't like the tone of that. I, I can honestly say I didn't either. I thought that's not a good storyline. Um, and hopefully she sat down with them and told them that she was going to put that out there like that. Um, you know, because it didn't... It Let me know what you guys think about her saying that and using that as a storyline that she said the boys, she couldn't handle it or however she worded it. But... Um, as I think about it, as I was getting ready to put this video together, I feel like she sent them to the sister because they were going to go on that road trip, one. And then at some point, they're going to go to Jamaica as well. So maybe that's why she was securing them, um, securing them, a, a, someone to watch over them while she was on these trips. Um So, yes, I think that's really the real reason why she took them to the sister. And then she's using this. She couldn't handle it. No more stuff as a storyline. But it didn't come off well. I agree with the people on Twitter. But let me know what you guys think about all of that in the comments. Um, And then getting into Sheree's party, um, the new party, the Melanin Shades. Um... Fatum tells the ladies that she did this background check 
on Drew. Um, I thought that was funny that, you know, well, she, excuse me, she didn't do it. Her friend, she told her friend about Drew and then the friend decided for whatever reason that they should do a background check on Drew. And so they pulled all this stuff that, you know, and if you guys have ever seen these reports, you know that some of the stuff, if you've ever pulled it on yourself, sometimes some of the stuff is accurate and some of it's not, you know, and you also have to keep in mind people you know, this is America, and people use other people's identity as well. So, and if they're using your social or certain information about you, it's still going to come up on some of those reports. So, it doesn't necessarily mean everything that's on the reports are is accurate. It's kind of what I'm trying to say with that. But they were saying that, that she had all these aliases, and so did her husband. And keeping with their theme of trying to make this man um, either down low or gay or whatever they're trying to say with that. You know, they tried to say he was using a woman's name. Um, and so Drew was saying that her assistant is named Danielle or one of them or a former or something. You know, I don't know. I kind of got confused because it sounded like she said that she has an assistant named Danielle. And then it sounded like she said a former assistant. So maybe the lady is not working with her anymore. Um, anyway, so they kind of go, but you know, they have a few words over that Fatum and Drew. And I like Fatum because, you know, she reminds me of Marlo. And when Marlo was a friend to the show, she's coming in with the drama, right? <laughs> she kind of brings the drama. Um, I also feel like Lisa Wu was trying to give Sonya the opportunity to have a moment and Sonya didn't take it. Instead, she went in the confessional and the stuff that she says in her confessionals, she really should say in the moment of these things going on because she needs that excitement because it's kind of, I, you know, I like her, but it's kind of like she's just there, right? She's like the friend to the cast. Um, and that's kind of how she comes off. And I feel like Lisa Wu was giving her a moment to kind of clash with somebody. And she didn't really take that time. She didn't really take the moment for what it was worth. Um, I like the drunk Kenya scenes. And um, Lisa Wu was tipsy as well. She definitely came off like something was going on (laughs) there as well. Um, And then Marlo said she in the after show, she was saying that Lisa was still there at at Sheree's house and she was still talking, you know, as they were going to sleep or whatever. Um, yeah, I thought this was one of the better episodes for so far. I like this episode. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. And just to jump into Candy's speak on it a little bit, um, she definitely was shading people (laughs) because it came on right after the show she went live sometimes she goes live after i think sometimes she may wait you know depending on her schedule i guess but she um she went live right after the show and she kind of recapped the the entire um episode um she said like i said she said that um sheree's daughter's podcast reminded her of um Candy Cody Nights. And then she stated that she believed Tyrone was the one giving that information to the blogs as well. I believe she spoke on um oh and then she got into this whole thing while she was in this on this conversation about Tyrone. This whole thing of, of Sheree's chateau and that Sheree probably uh, got the money to decorate the chateau from Tyrone's fraud money. And I thought, why would she? I don't know. I guess she's trying to shade her by doing that. But I thought that was really uh, messy for her to say that. And um, as long as Sheree took to pull Ch- Chateau Sheree together, I feel like she definitely should have had the money to do it. I don't think that. She had to take any um, fraud money <laughs> to to do that. I don't know. And she was on Real Housewives of Atlanta for a long time. And she has come back a couple times. 
So, and I'm sure she's receiving a salary every time she comes back. So I don't know. I don't know that I believe that. But um, yeah, she said that over on Speak On It. And um, I guess something else is going to go on between Candy and Sheree as the season goes on. So I guess we'll just have to wait for it to see why she would do this. Um, What else does she speak on? I feel like she said some things about Marlo and the boys. She said that, um, that she felt like the order of the way Marlo was talking about leaving the boys when her sister was off because she was calm when she was talking to her and then she was... Um, a little more, ups- she, you know, she was upset when she spoke to Sonia and Sheree. So I don't know. Um, I don't think it really, um, if they did take it out of order, they probably didn't think people would really pick up on it. Because people just think the whole idea of her saying that was just wrong anyway, right? Whether she was upset about it or calm, it, that part is really don't really matter um what else was she talking about I feel like she said a few things about Marlo but I can't remember now let me know what you guys thought about the episode and I like I said I feel like it was one of the better episodes so far this season it was good to see uh Lisa Wu and hopefully we will see her again um, as this, you know, as the episodes go on, because I, I think we are going to see her at this fashion show, She by Sheree. Let me know what you guys thought about the episode and speak on it if you were able to catch that and the after show. Um, yeah, because Drew was name dropping and then they had this whole OG conversation about, um, Sonya and Lisa Wu going at it. And I guess Lisa Wu may have, you know, said she was an OG or something. At least that's what Sonya said. And, um, you know, of course, they hit back and said, well, you're not here. You're not on the show. So I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. And like I said, if Sonya has it in her to do all this shading, then why is she not doing this in the moment that she could shade people? Because she had the opportunity to shade Lisa Wu while she was there. Now, maybe Lisa Wu is going to pop up a, a couple more times. You know, I don't know. But let me know what you guys thought about the episode, and I'll see you in the next video.